Well, it figures that I would get home, start editing of episode 5, or call number 5 of episode 2 of A Day in the Life, and then I would get another call. It is 8.30 p.m. Sunday night, and we've got a call for system not heating. It is a heat pump system, so there's a whole pile of potential issues there. I guess we'll find out when we get there. All right, so it is 9.36 p.m. It takes me about an hour to get from my house down to Fayetteville. So we'll see what we find here and try to bring you along for this ride as well. How lovely. We got an old Lennox HP 26. We've got HP 260613P. It is a 2005. And they said that the fan was not operating. So we'll pop it open and see what's up. They've got the emergency heat on at this point. Alrighty. So we've got our leads on the common terminal of the capacitor and the fan and that is showing us zero microfarad but on the other side for the hermetic side we're showing 43 out of 50 we'll slap a new capacitor in it and see what happens then I was able to flick the condenser fan motor and make it run but I uh, want to make sure everything else is straight Common is red, yellow is hermetic for the compressor, and purple is for the fan. We'll get the common section and High side pressure and heating. And get the iConnect hooked up to it. Defrost or what? I'm going to guess we might be in a defrost. Give it a minute. See what happens. Yep. 
we were defrosting. So that's good to know that the defrost works. We'll give it a minute to run and see what it does. We'll get back to you here in a minute. Well, generally speaking, we're not doing too bad. Superheat is fluctuating up and down pretty heavily, but the pressures are about what we are looking for based on current conditions. Um, I suppose I should probably crawl the crawl space and confirm condition of ducting. I have a sneaking suspicion that we don't have enough return. As our superheat is fluctuating from 2 to 12 or so. Interesting. grab a drill so I can take a look at that coil. Well, the tape has never been moved, so I would wager that this coil has never been cleaned since 2005. Launch camera. filters or coil is amazingly clean not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but amazingly clean I suppose I should also check the blower capacitor so we'll leave the drill here grab the meter All right. we've got a 15 microfarad that is reading 14.3 I'd say we're fine there Blower wheels not perfectly clean, but it's not terrible either Drain pan is disgusting Look at that
guess it is what it is at this point. It's back up and working. Alright, so there was a question on HVAC talk about whether or not it would be necessary to put low loss fittings on the wireless pressure probes. We're running in heat. It is R22, but the uh, demonstration is pretty much the same anyway. I wanted to show you how much loss we have when you remove the high pressure probe from the refrigerant pipe. That's it. Not a whole lot of loss at all and no oil on the pressure probe itself. So it's, like I said, literally a non-issue. Alright, that one's done. It is 10 minutes after 11, Sunday night, almost Monday morning. Not exactly a midnight service call, but maybe we'll still get one of those. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.